Hi there, and thank you for tuning in. So I got a good question from Red Serpent 2000 saying, now you have owned your Epson P900 for a year, Frederick. What do you make of it? What do you think of it? And let me make a long story short. I think it's a really good printer. Uh, it prints amazing images. And I can just give you an example here. Oops, so you can see for yourself that it really prints nice. I haven't done any you know, configuration or any special work to setting it up as such. I'm just using it. And uh, I think it does a really fine job. Maybe you can tweak it so that it produces even better images, but I think it does fine just almost out of the box. But there are a few issues with this printer. And those of you who saw my first video know that I had some challenges <laughs> to say the least, to get it up and running. I'll post a link to that uh, above here so you can see that video in case you haven't seen it. But also I have found three new issues that I want to share with you. And the first one is that, well, sometimes the printer, and I think this is only natural, sometimes the printer doesn't make clean images, I will call it. It sort of draws lines, uh, not very systematically, but it just draws some lines you know, across the page. And it's not really clear to me the, the, you know, when this happened or how systematic it is. It just does happen. And what helps to mitigate that problem is to clean the printer. And the printer can do that itself. You just ask it to run your cleaning program and, and that's relatively easy to use. The problem is, and this is my first issue, the cartridges, the way the printer cleans itself is it pushes the ink through. I'm not a printer expert, but, but I've been told it pushes the ink through the printer head and thereby uh, uses the ink to, to sort of clean itself. And it also when you buy the printer and set it up, you will see that's what it does in large scale. It, it really uses a lot of ink to, to clean itself. And here comes the problem because these cartridges there are 10 of them in the printer. Let me just see if I can open the printer here so you can see for yourself. If I don't hit the, the, the light there. There are 10 of them here. And prices in Denmark where I live are a bit crazy, but each of these will set you back 35 euros. Now, 350 euros, Danish prices that is, is like maybe 25% of the price for the entire printer, right? And uh, I think that's a lot of money. And it hurts me. Just like, you know, those, you know, those people who go up to a blackboard and then they, they, they sort of scratch their nails on the blackboard and makes a specific sound. It's like, oh, that, that, that's the feeling I get when the printer starts cleaning itself because I know it uses this extremely expensive ink to clean itself. And there's only 50 milliliters in each of the cartridges. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's, just, it's just expensive. If you're not prepared to pay that much for uh, uh, cartridges, maybe you should rethink whether you need a printer at all. Uh, you can, there are some agencies in town that can print and I would for sure recommend that you print, don't get me wrong. Study your own work. You learn so much from seeing your own work on paper. I don't know why it is, it just is. So trust me on this one, that when you see your own work, you will start to noticing uh, things that are out of focus, uh, you know, uh, sensor dust, all of these things, you all of a sudden you will start noticing you know, that you haven't noticed before. So do print, but be prepared to pay uh, in case you want to use this printer. I know many of you will ask me, but Frederick, how many pages can I print uh, with a cartridge? I'm unable to answer because it uses a combination of 10 cartridges and they're subject to the, the color cast in what you're printing and, and so on and so forth. Uh, that determines how long the, the cartridges will last. So I'm, I'm simply unable to answer. I, would ju I, I can just say this with certainty. Filling up the printer with new cartridges is expensive, period, end of story. Okay, the second issue I have with the printer is that now you can see this is a nice large print and you can of course also print smaller. 
So if I just pick out a smaller page like this one, and uh, I've had no issues printing in this size. But recently when I printed in this size, which is a two, I believe, the largest the printer will take, then all of a sudden the printer did this to me. Let me just show you this. And uh, I can assure you, this is the entire print. Looks like this. It simply stopped mid in the middle of the page. And it wasn't because I wasn't patient. I really did wait for the printer to continue. But eventually it gave up and uh, just stopped printing. And also the print job was cancelled from the computer. And then when you experience things like that, you know, okay, now I have a few hours of Googling, trying to figure out what's up and down. It turned out that when I plugged in the printer directly to my computer with a cable, there are some cable options up here. You can, you can plug in the, the, uh, the cable into the printer directly so that you have a physical connection. As soon as I did that, this problem disappeared. So somewhere in my Wi-Fi, I haven't run this to ground, but somewhere in my Wi-Fi, I have an issue with a buffer that runs full or something, you know, can't take this volume. I have never had the issue printing with my Wi-Fi in this size, um, but A2, the last format, just doesn't fly. So if you want to, if you experience this problem, work around is plug in your printer directly to your computer with a physical connection. That works. Um, yeah, and of course, if you have a a few available hours on a Sunday afternoon, you, of course you can, you can figure out if, if you can make your Wi-Fi work. I just decided to go for the workaround. The last thing I want to bring up is that when you print large print like this, I've had this page folded, sorry about that, because I actually want to throw it out. But I just want to show it down here in the corner. You can see there's a little white area. So of course it shouldn't look like that. Of course it should be printed all the way like this one. You can see down here in the corner, there's no white thing here and also in the electronic version, of course. This is a mistake. So why did that happen? Was that the printer that had a problem or what was it? And again, just like in my first video, the issue was not so much the printer itself, but what you put into it in this case. Let me just see if I can find the right page. Here it is. I buy my paper uh, online so that it's delivered, uh, obviously by a, some parcel. Uh, you know, transporter. And you can see, it's clear to me that when you see this corner here, it has been, for, during transportation, this corner has taken some beating. And the problem is that you need to check this when you get uh, your printed paper. You can see I have another page here where that has not happened. That's actually where the successful print is from. You can see here, there's no, maybe I should do like this. There's no issue with the corners here. They're nice and there has no, no transportation issue here. So what happens is once, when your parcel takes a beat or a beating, then your paper also <laughs> gets the beating. And that means that the paper is slightly uneven. And what then happens is that when you print edge to edge, the printer head passes the edge of the paper it doesn't start, you know, a little bit inside on the, uh, it doesn't start a little bit into the paper, it actually starts a little bit outside. So when it passes and there is a little wrinkle in the paper, all of a sudden it can't really pass and get the ink to hit the, the paper. Uh, and this is not the printer's fault. This is because, yeah, the paper is slightly bent or slightly uh, wrinkled. And this gives an issue uh, with the result, obviously. And I thought this was the printer that, that didn't work, but it's not. It's simply because you need, if you print edge to edge, you know, really flat paper to go uh, into the printer. So three issues there for you. You need flat paper. You need sometimes to pr plug your printer directly uh, into your computer. And if you are as careful with your money as I am, you, you may want to reconsider if owning a printer yourself is for you. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.